Uh, new details about that new highway message that's catching everyone's eye. The electronic sign reads, get your head out of your apps. So is it working? 7 News reporter Tyler Lopez joins us live with the details. Kelly, hundreds and hundreds of drivers were contacted over the weekend as they started this campaign statewide. We want to find out exactly how it went. One of the folks looking for you if you're texting and driving is Sergeant Rob Madden with the State Patrol. Thanks for getting up so early for us this morning. You're welcome. Hundreds and hundreds of drivers contacted over 17 different jurisdictions. Did those number of contacts surprise you? Definitely didn't surprise me. I think the numbers that we're seeing are consistent with what is out there on a regular basis. Some near 500 people in the end, you believe, will be, have been contacted. But it's interesting that the number of verbal warnings is more than double the number of tickets issued. How can folks understand that? I think the easiest way to understand that is to take a look at what it takes for a violation to be cited. And it takes uh, proof that you see in court. Yeah, that's the tough thing you've talked about before is having the time and the resources to actually dedicate yourselves to this exact problem. Now you've got the funding to do that. Definitely. And what's going to happen with this funding, what's going to happen with this grant is it's going to move forward. We're going to start to see it more. The general public is going to see it. It's going to be in your face on a regular basis. Not just texting. What are some of the excuses people give you when you pull them over for this? I think the biggest excuse is I didn't know. I didn't realize. And unfortunately, when, you, we, when we see it, when we realize it, is when that driving behavior has reached something that is noticeable by everybody. Some 14 lane violations too, careless driving also cited as a result of this. These are potentially dangerous things. I think anything that takes your view away from the road from what is uh, the task at hand is definitely a dangerous behavior. And those numbers we expect to jump because a lot of your largest jur jurisdictions didn't even report. So while we have 12 tickets for texting and driving, you think that's going to bounce? Definitely. We're going to start to see those numbers go up as the campaign continues throughout the year and for, uh, in the future. We're going to see all those numbers increase. When we talk about texting and driving, what's the craziest thing you've seen people do while driving? I think the craziest thing I see is the makeup. It's the reading books. It's the uh, just everyday activities people try to do while driving a motor vehicle. So dangerous because it only takes a little bit. And you're in the wrong lane, potentially with a head-on crash coming your way. Definitely. And that's the scary part that we have out there is there's more than just one person on the road. And that's exactly why this campaign will go throughout the year. Get your head out of your apps. Be careful with what you're doing.